I've got this RCWL-1603 ultrasonic sensor and this can tell you the distance how far away something is. So you can see it says 100 millimeters and when I move it close it says 50 millimeters. This was sent to me by IC Station uh, to take a look at. There are multiple different modes that this module could be in and that needs to be set before you use it. Here you can see in the information that there is a serial port mode, a GPIO mode, a PWM mode, and then an automatic serial port output mode. The main things that we'll be working with is the GPIO mode and the automatic serial port output. I'll talk about how you can use the serial port mode, but I'm not going to get into PWM mode. So let's start with the automatic serial port output. And this is automatically sending the output of the distance without even using Arduino or anything. I'm not actually using Arduino. I'm simply using a UART port cable over USB. It's connected to my computer here. A UART, UART uh, USB port It has VCC, ground, TX, and RX. VCC and ground are just power. TX is for transmitting data. RX is for receiving data. And so I connected those pins accordingly to this device and well, it actually wasn't doing anything when I first connected it. So I was wondering why. There's actually a mode setting that you need to set before you can use it. I don't know what mode it was in before, but there's actually a mode pin on the device that you need to connect to ground. What you do is connect this pin, the MD pin, to ground and then take it out you put it in and so now it's in mode setting command you can see it's not printing any values so I'm going to clear that and by the way I'm using something called Qtcom it's for UART communication and it's opening uh, dev slash TTY USB 0 that's my UART USB port and the reason I use this is because you can send it send hex values through it so you can set it to hex but if you put it in serial port mode there you can also uh, send it these hex values OXC1 and that would give you the distance value or OXC2 that would give you temperature and what I'm gonna do is just keep it in automatic because that's the easiest to show you and what I'm gonna do is just paste that in here press enter and you can see it returned OXA4 and that's what it's supposed to return over here you can see the return value for that is supposed to be OXA4. So QCOM isn't available in Windows and so in Windows you're going to need to use something like Realterm and you can't actually send hex values so we, what you actually do is send it a decimal value and so you gotta set this all up so with the port make sure it's set to your serial port and then also make sure the baud rate is 9600 and then when you go into send, you're going to be sending it numbers instead of a hex value. So for serial port mode, the number would be 1. For GPIO, number would be 2. PWM, number would be 3. Automatic serial port would be 4. And then OXOF is actually 15. So it's not 5, you're going to type in 15 for that if you want to use the version number to find the version number, which I did here just to test. Then also when you're displaying it, you could set it to ASCII or hex. If you return it to hex, you can make sure that you're getting the correct value back. If you're setting it to GPIO mode, you just go ahead and say two, and then send number. You see it returned A2, which is the appropriate return value. And so now that the mode is set, now remove the MD pin that's connected to ground. So you just take that out and then you simply connect the power back up and everything. So since I set that mode, now when I plug it in, it's showing you how far, it's showing me the distance automatically. In order to work this with an Arduino, you have to put this into GPIO mode. And so first we're going to connect up the device into mode setting mode. 
and then we're going to send the command to set it into GPIO mode. So while the MD pin is connected to ground, we're going to pr provide power to the device. Now it is in mode setting mode. So we're going to copy the GPI mode command. The device connection is open. We're going to paste in the hex value. Choose enter. And you can see it returned OXA2. And OXA2 is the appropriate return value for setting GPIO mode. Now we can remove the mode setting pin. And now we can start working with the Arduino. The easiest way to work with this on Arduino is to install the new ping library. So if you go into tools, manage libraries, in the library manager type in new ping and then you'll have the ability to install it. Once it's installed, go up into file, examples, new ping and then new ping example. Now this has everything for you to get it to work and so by default it has a trigger pin set to pin 12, an echo pin set, set to pin 11, and then the max distance set to 200 and that's in centimeters. So now just wire it accordingly. We have pin 12 going to the trigger pin on this device and then we have pin 11 going to the echo pin on this device. And then you also need to plug in VCC and ground to power the device from the Arduino. We can plug it into 5 volts. And we also can unplug the UART to TCL device. Now we simply connect up the Arduino board. We go into tools, select the according port, and then sketch upload and then it's going to upload to the Arduino board and you can see it's done uploading and then next we can see if it's working we can go into tools serial monitor make sure the baud rate is set to 115200 or really whatever you have set it in the code so here it was set to 115200 and you can see it's giving an output for the distance in centimeters. So if you want it to detect even further distance, you can set the max di distance higher. Now if you have the code by default, you won't be able to use the serial plotter. It's not going to give any output, but if you change the code, do a print line for the centimeters, and then upload that, and then we can go into tool, serial plotter, so now you can see it is plotting as expected according to how far away my hand is. So that's how you would use this device in GPIO mode. GPIO mode in with Arduino would be better because you're getting a precise value. If you had it in automatic mode it would be printing the information out but you wouldn't be able to get the exact value without parsing it. And so this way you don't have to do any sort of parsing and you can get it right away and you can use this value as an integer. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll leave a link to the description where you can purchase this and all that stuff. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe. Have a great day.